Jesus. We praise you for the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for the finished work of Calvary. We thank you for the Spirit of God who leads and guides us into all truth. We ask now that the Spirit of God will speak explicitly and that hearers will hear with discerning ears. In the name of Jesus, the wise discerns time and judgment. Even so, I lose urgency on the minds, the hearts, and the will of every listener, and we decree a multitude of listeners. In the in the name of Jesus and giving you the glory. Well, God bless every one of you that under the sound of my voice. As never before, this is a time to get up. The scriptures have admonished us. Arise and shine. Of course, we are called to such a time as this. A time of need. Here, the need is for deliverance. Someone has said there's always a time of deliverance, yes. But there are times of urgency that arise. And now is a time of urgency that has developed through the activities of human and sex trafficking. Some time ago, the Spirit of God gave me a vision concerning the Cayman Islands. At that time, the Cayman Islands had not been continually in the limelight concerning trafficking, but now that has changed. The Cayman Islands are included in those places that have been involved in human and sex trafficking. Human trafficking for servitude, sex trafficking for the pleasures of fools. Now, we are warned, and according to that calling that is upon this ministry, warn them from me. Even so, the people of God are warned. The populace is warned. We watch. We make sure that our children, our young people, do not fall captives to those who specialize in attracting troubled teens, troubled youth. We watch our youth. We fertilize our youth in those things that are profitable and good for their lives. As people of God, amen, we have a responsibility to birth and to nurture and to see to it that everyone in our physical and our spiritual family can have prosperity. For it is the will of God that we prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. Jesus gave us the keys for prosperity in this life and to prepare us for the prosperity of the life to come. Jesus said, you must be born again. So this is our mandate to declare the possibility and to present the door that will cause us to enter into another dimension, that of the kingdom of God. Now the scriptures have declared the kingdom of God is not with meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And this is what is needed as never before. 
the righteousness of God, the peace of God, and yes, joy. Joy that comes through knowing that all of your needs are met. And the Lord certainly has promised to supply that. And people have need of their physical uh, needs to be met. Food, raiment, clothing, and all of that is within the promises of the Lord as well as the overflow. For God can cause our needs and our prosperity to be in the overflow, to have the overflow, as well as the wisdom of God as was uh, depicted and shown in the scriptures, even when the prophet told the woman to get vessels so that she could be in a business. There are other ways that prosperity can loom. It can increase, and even so, concerning our young people, we watch that they will not be sucked into the vacuum of poverty that can cause them to be victims of those who watch for such. Well, bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. And the Spirit of the Lord would say, Arise and shine. Amen. Get up as never before and let God bless you to multiply. He will multiply your seed, that which is in the physical and that which is in the spirit. Well, this has been Apostle Jean Morris declaring to you the word of God as the spirit of God would give. This is a word from the Lord. Bless you now.